Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper. My name is Jackie Vandersar Booth, still officially known in the Stampin' Up! world as Jackie Bolcha or Jacomina Bolcha, my Dutch name. Um, I'm kind of feeling nostalgic today. How do you like my, um, my jacket? It's like, um, oh, there's a little Stampin' Up! there. See? This is the jacket that I received when I went to the very last Founder Circle which is a way that Stampin' Up! honored its top achievers. And I was so surprised um, when it was announced. I wasn't able to go to convention. And um, in the middle of the night, I kind of couldn't sleep. And I heard my computer dinging and I went to look and people from all over were congratulating me. So it was super exciting. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because Wednesday means it's time for stamping through my stash. And... I like to do that because I need to use the stuff that I buy. And when you use up, when you ink up your stamps, use your dies, you will be more likely to use your things than just be a collector. And the other reason is that, well, of course, you will be inspired. You're going to remember why you fell in love with what you bought. But also, there is a three-month guarantee on Stampin' Up! supplies on most things. On big things, like I think the trimmer has a longer one, and the die cutting machine has a three year warranty. Okay. But the thing is, if something is wrong or you're not happy, you have that three month window. So use it. Today, I am doing something a little bit different. I am using a kit. Now, the kit does not come with these splatters. I don't even know what they're from. No idea. No idea at all. But things happen in my world. And this was in a suitcase. So, yeah. We could all come up with a story. Looks like ink spatters. It's very artistic. They could send it this way, but the rest of the box has little dots around it, so in stripes. This, all our kits come in a box like this, so when you see the box, you don't know which kit it is. But why I want to share this with you is because it's great for beginner stampers. It's also great instant gratification for seasoned stampers. So I already like have used things that are here. So it's not the first time I'm using this. I made one card with this at my mom's for Cheater Corner. But I'm going to make all three cards. This kit is called something about honeycombs. Okay, so it's an unusual set. And I'm excited to make all the cards with you. Oh yeah, and there's a pink one. This is supposed to be a strawberry. Anyway... I just think that the world needs more joy. And I think that people need to have more meaningful gatherings in their lives. And so a great way to do that is order some kits. Get together with your friends and do something. Instead of just eating and drinking, you will find that when you gather around a table with crafting supplies, your conversation may go in totally different ways than it would otherwise. When your hands are busy, your mind slows down, and you just relax and I think it's great. I'm gonna do more of this myself. So here's one of the cards and if I will angle it, like this is just the base, you'll see that, see the shine? It's just those little things. So there's three of those and then it comes, in, there's no stamping for this one, okay? There's all kinds of little die cuts. There are, oh, here we go. We're getting to the point where I wanted to show you. Here is the instruction sheet that comes with it. And the kit is called Hooray for Honeycomb Kit. So yeah, I'm not stamping. So it's called Stamping Through My Stash. Some of our kits do have stamp sets and ink spots and blocks included. But this is a, here's another one. So there's three of those and there's three of these. Just a sec. Oh yeah, and this one, it's confusing. There's a rainbow on both sides. So this is not an upside down rainbow and upside down clouds. It goes this way. You could cut this in half. No, you can't. You need the inside. Anyway, I'm talking too much. I've always gotten into trouble for that. So I guess why stop now? There's also little glue dots. I prefer to use the glue dots on a roll, but you really do have everything you need in the kit. So I'm just going to move all the cards. The envelopes are also cute. So you right away know you're getting happy mail. So... And they all coordinate with, see? And then the inside also has pretty spring colors. And then the words come in four languages. So if you are a person who has friends all over the world, like me, 
then you can use them all. I've used this one already, as you can see. Um, so they're in German, Dutch, French, and English. And I, the last time I did this, I couldn't find, so there's three sheets of these. And then there's also three sheets of these. Oh, happy day. Ein hoch auf dich. Quel belle journée and hip hip hurra. You did it. Goed gemacht. Tu, tu a réussir. I can't read that writing. How bad is that? Tis je gelukt. Hmm. Well, yeah, you know what? Help me out, French people. I usually can read French, but I this this tu a réussi are those two s's? Okay, it's kind of like my own writing. Can't hardly read it. Okay, we're gonna start with the card that I made at my mom's because that will get me into my comfort zone because I've been sick for a week and so I I'm a little bit a little tired, a little wobbly, and I just need some something easy. So I did this card on uh, last week, actually, a week ago, and it was Eclipse Day. Now, I'm still waiting for photos because I was in such a rush because all of a sudden my mom decided she wanted to come with to the Eclipse. And um, I, I didn't have to, I forgot my phone. So I thought, oh, my goodness, I can't. I don't have pictures. And, and it was so cool. My mom, my brothers, my sister-in-law and my two nephews were all standing right outside the farmhouse on top of the hill with our crazy glasses on and it was just really special. I think the being together and experiencing it together was even more amazing than the actual eclipse. But to see that was was pretty neat. So we have the congrats. We're just pulling that out. And then we need they're not on the same page, so don't freak out if you can't find it. Then you need the you did it. But I think that I want to do this one in Dutch. So we're going to do proficiat. Now, apparently, that's not used a whole lot. They were, they're more likely to say felicitat, not proficiat. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, but they'll know what it means, so it's okay. Tis je gelukt. When I look at that, I think, oh, you're proficient, right? That means you're good at something. And when you succeeded at something, yeah, proficiat. It, I think it must be from the Latin. That's what I'm getting. <coughs> Sorry. See, proof that I'm still not quite 100%. Okay, so now we're going to grab some dimensionals. And here, and also on these guys, just two. And now I have to remember that we need this little sunshine. And it's also shiny. So that's cool. The sunshine, I, I could get my instructions to have a look. It's kind of peeking out, but I found that it's better to put the sunshine on first because otherwise my dimensional might be in the way. So I'm just going to use liquid adhesive instead of glue dots because I'm lazy. I want to do it quickly. So, but the nice thing about these kits is that they're just about guaranteed to be successful. They're for all ages. You can do this with your kids. You can do it with your friends. You can do it with your elderly parent. And not only is it fun to make something together, but then it's also really meaningful if you put that card in the mail because you will literally brighten someone's day. How often? When's the last time you've gotten happy mail? So this is a great hobby. It benefits not only you, but all the people in your circle of influence. So proficiat. And then, Tisha looked. You did it. And then in the inside, this is where the fun comes in. So here, we're opening up the card. And then we're going to take our yellow sun. And we peel off the backing. Now, I didn't read the instructions last time. Now, this is a pretty big... Um, I'm going to leave that much of a gap. In between I think when I did my last card I thought it was kind of clunky in the middle but it is a pretty big thing so let me see if they have any instructions that actually tell you no they don't like see it shows you here that that's where it opens but yeah I guess not too far from the edge then 
So I'm going to lay this down and just a little bit away from the middle. There. And then we're going to peel off the other backing. Oops. And then we're going to close the card. See, so there is going to be, it's not going to lay completely flat because you've got something thick in there. But you've given it a good press. And now look. How fun is that? This is just neat. It's playful. Of course, it's easy. Um, you can use, if you already have stamp sets, you can stamp in the inside. Um, this might not be the best because this is, it, it, it's, you know, um, you could do, you can do this, but this is, this is just a stamp set that I love. This is not the right one for, for this, this thing. So we'll think of something else, but that's the first card. Now we're going to do the berry one and it's very proud of you. So we need this guy. We need a little topper for the strawberry. And it's like a funky strawberry. These are not like realistic strawberries. Uh, card. But the thing is, again, it's still important. Even though this is a kit, let's say you were missing a strawberry or something. Then you would call your demonstrator and say, you know what? I ordered this kit. I'm missing something. Or the, yeah, who knows? So I don't think that happens very often. But once in a great while, it does. So be prepared. Okay, now we have to find our strawberry. Although I think, yeah, I'm going to put the strawberry on first. We're covering this one right up. Okay. So this one is going to be here. How low do I go? How low do you go? And then straight up and down here. Peel the other part off. Now, this one, if you put it this way and not in the middle of your card, you are going to want to give this card to somebody because you can't mail it when it's all fat like this, right? Or you could leave this on like so, put a little sticky note beside it to say, hey, remove the backing and then, especially if it's a child, and then you can stick it down and then they have a little activity to do. I think that's what I would do if I was going to mail it. So... There. You can even send them a little text message with a with a short little video clip of what to do. Now, because it's hard and you don't want to squish it, I'm going to take my pokey tool. You could use a toothpick or scissors. And I'm getting right in there and I'm pressing it down like so. There. And it sticks really well, but I just want to get in there. I don't want to squish it. So there is our strawberry. And now we're going to glue these together. And again, you could use your glue dots, but I don't feel like it. And it's my card. That's what I always tell my people. You know, if you don't feel like putting it on and you think that that green is good enough, then that's okay too. There. And now, and I don't know if they pop this up. Let's get some instructions. I mean, I could just decide to pop it up. It might look great popped up. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they did. They have a glue dot and uh, a popper. Hmm. Oh, and they also popped up this one. Okay, well, guess what? I'm just going to, it's all good. Doing it my way. There's a song like that, too. Doing it my way. I, don't, I can't sing that. I don't know it well enough to do the melody. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't think to do that. Okay, so that's going to go up like so. That looks cute. It's much better in real life. It really is. It, it's just a fun card. It's making me smile. Okay, so then we're going to take this green piece. See, and how often do you tell people that you're proud of them? It's really important. Here. We all need that. We all sometimes have crippling moments of self-doubt. And uh, it never hurts to hear I'm proud of you. So yeah. All right, we're gonna put this down. And you know, I would say that you could even do this card kit with uh, while consuming wine. Okay, for a ladies night. 
The other thing is to do this as a fundraiser, you know? If you want to do something fun with a lot of people and you want to raise money for a cause, I will happily do that. If you order your kits through me and you say, you know what, we want to do a fundraiser for Ronald McDonald House or for our school, I will give all my proceeds and uh, you'll get a check from me, okay? So that's 25% of the price of the kit. Look at that. I just thought of that now, but I think it's great. You know, let's make the world a better place. So that's very proud of you. And I don't see anything else on here. So now we're going to make the third card. So looking good. And then the last one is the, the balloons. Okay. Oh, happy day. And look, it's got the balloons in the middle. So we're going to... I kind of want to do it in Dutch too, but we're not. We'll do a Dutch one later. Oh, happy day. And I think we're going to pop it up and we're going to put a, they just have a bow, but I think a balloon needs a, see, they have a bow at the bottom. I think a balloon needs a dangling, a dangling thread, not just a bow. So let's have a look. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I just kind of forgot what I was looking for. Do you ever have that? Four dimensionals on the back of that balloon. I just knocked something down and I don't know what it is. At the end of my desk, something fell. Okay. And I'll try to put that somewhere in my brain so that if I'm looking for something later on, I'll know to look on the floor. And you know what? I see a little bit of sunshine. And... Uh, supposed to rain for the rest of the day so whenever the sun pops out I'm like oh I'm so happy oh guess what I forgot to do I'm taking all these dimensionals off and I told you about the dangling string so the little string came in this little baggie and so because I forgot here this is how it works with these fun glue dots so the glue dot I'm just gonna lay it flat here for a minute Peel off the backing. Oh, it came off altogether. So I'm shoving it underneath my dimensional. And now I'm going to pick off there. The, the, it's a lot of work. That's why I take them off of my spool instead. And now look, I'm just going to do this. Down we go onto the glue dot. I don't want it on my dimensional. I'm just poking this down. I should have not uncovered my dimensionals, you see, eh? But we're making it work. And then, ribbon scissors. And we'll make it kind of short. I might not even do a bow. We'll see. So, big decisions. Oh, and it doesn't even matter that that little piece is hanging out because that's, that's kind of normal. So, oh, happy day. See, and now it's got a string hanging down just like all the other balloons. And then we'll make a bow. Okay. And we'll put it on with another glue dot. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Nope, the whole thing's coming off again. Okay, we're going to put it right on the bottom of the balloon. Press down. Man, my hands look so old and wrinkly in the video. I don't moisturize enough on my hands. That is the cold hard truth. So now I'm taking the bow and I'm shoving it on the glue dot. There, how cute is that? So that's the outside of the card. Now we're gonna open it up and we're gonna find the balloon. Look at this, we've got this gorgeous turquoisey balloon. And it's going to go right up high because I don't want to cover up the other balloons. See that sunshine? Ooh. I purposely went for an early morning beach walk because I wasn't sure if we'd see the sun again today. So now I'm closing the card, pressing down. And look at that. How much fun is that? And then I don't think there's anything else to put in the inside. 
So those are the cards. I hope that you enjoyed this. I will put the link for this kit. Oh, I was going to show you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so excited about this. All right, I can share my screen. So we're going to go here and let me go to my screen. Oh my goodness, here we go. And okay, shopping with Jackie Bolcha. Now I'm going to go to what's new. No specials. No, I'm going to look up kits. Kits collection. Let's hope it works. It's coming. Oh, yes. Okay. Sort by, I'm going to say newest. And look at this. So this is, you can see here's the kit that we used. So hooray for honeycomb. And look, here's the by your side kit. I forgot to order this. I, I, it happens to me all the time. I placed an order in Canada and I think I ordered it there, but I was going to order it here and I forgot. So look, I'm going to make this bigger and you can see, look at there's dogs, two dog cards, two cat cards. And I think there's two of each. So there's eight cards. No, one, two, three. Nine cards. Well, you know what? It will tell me. Let's go back and have a look. And see here, there is a stamp set. So there it shows you all the things. Yeah, and I can see. Let's see. How many cards does it tell me? Show more. Eight cards. Four each of two uh, designs. So you get the cute envelopes. You get a stamp set. You get an ink spot. So and you can decide whether you want dogs or cats because they've given you enough so that you can make all your cards dog cards or all your cards cat cards. So they haven't, you know, they're not making you decide. And then look, here is the, the stamp. And I don't know if cat prints, look at the difference between a cat print and a dog print. Yeah. I think that you really have to be a pretty amazing pet owner to know the difference. Or maybe I'm just not that smart. Okay, so here's the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. And so you can just add it to your cart. And so that's helpful to know. So every month there's two new kits released. This one is really great. This is, oh yeah, the paper pumpkin refills are here too. These are the new dies. I'm kind of glad I showed you this. I get to, so it's a, a fun shape. There's the word thanks. And then there's a detailed butterfly and a solid butterfly. So for $16.50, that's a pretty good deal. Um, what else? Your Day to Shine kit. Let's have a look. I didn't even know about this one. I'm not up to date. See? So you can find a kit at your price point. They're really um, priced for a budget. And if you've never made a card before, this is a great way. I've ordered this. I want to do this when I come back to Canada with the grandkids. This is a game. Okay, it's a, a DIY classic, classic cup and ball game with the Frog and Friends kit. You can craft six cup and ball games in three designs. A fun frog, a flashy fish, and a silly shark. The kit includes everything you need to complete the games, even googly eyes. It's a great kit for crafting with kids, grandkids, nieces and nephews, play groups, kids, and kids at heart. So I was really excited to see this one. Anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to all the different kits that are available. Um, I had this birthday sparkle kit too in Canada. We did it at my bingo and it's really fun too with cr crumb cake and black and gold. It's very classic. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me with, for stamping through my stash. I hope that I've inspired you. I hope that if you're a new stamper that you think, yes, I can do this. I want to do this with my friends. It's time to have some more fun in life, okay? And get those conversations started and start having quality time together. Time together is great, but quality time together is even better. So anyway, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to subscribe. Remember to hit the show more so you can read the details, find the links, shop with me. Join my team because you know what? That's always the best bet. So if you want to get all these products and pay no shipping and tax, you can put it in a starter kit. Anything can go in a starter kit. Um, stuff from the clearance rack, stuff from the online exclusives, kits, anything from the, the annual catalog or the mini catalog. So if you have any questions, message me. My job is to make your life easier to be your creative coach. Have a super day. Bye.